Working in the coal mine was uh, extremely dangerous. The miner faced a lot of hazards whilst he worked underground. Uh, in the 1920s, as many as 1,200 miners were killed every year. But by the 1960s, that number had decreased to just over 300. So actually nationalising the coal industry was a good thing. And uh, it saved a lot of lives in that time. Miners faced a number of dangers. One was rock falls, one was coal falls, another one was gas explosions, methane explosions throughout the coal field. The most dangerous one ever was in Seng Ennith, where 439 men and boys and horses were killed. And only the manager only cared about the horses. He didn't worry about the men or the boys that were killed. But even the man on top of the pit was killed. And they were actually killed by electricity, causing an explosion that ripped through the pit and killed 439 people in an instant. Up until the 1950s, the miner just wore a flat cap on the ground. But after the 1950s, he had to wear a hard hat. This became compulsory. Originally, it was made of pressed cardboard, but now it's made of plastic. And it's what he had to wear all the time when he worked underground. We're going to give you a quick demonstration of why it was important that miners wore hard hats underground and not the traditional flat cap. To assist me in this demonstration, I've got Will and Tom. As you can see, Will is very happy because he's got a hard hat to wear. Tom is not so happy because he's got a flat cap. Will is very happy to go to work wearing his hard hat because whilst he's walking along, anything can happen. Oh no! Tom, on the other hand, is looking very apprehensive because all he's wearing is a flat cap. As you know, anything can happen underground. Oh no! You can see why Will is smiling. He was a safety conscious man and he wore a hard hat. <coughs> Whereas Tom, who wore a flat cap, he's got a bit of a headache. And that's why it's very important that you wear hard hats underground. In the event of an explosion underground, your best friend down the mine was a canary. And because he's a lot smaller than you are, he was far more susceptible to dangerous gases like carbon monoxide. If he started getting agitated on his perch, falling off, or even collapsing completely, you would immediately go back to a place of safety.